Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to add new contact from HubSpot CRM to Google Sheet. So as soon as you add a new contact detail in your HubSpot CRM, you want to keep a record as a backup of those contact details in your Google Sheets as well. So rather than creating contacts at two different places, you can create an automation with the help of Fably Connect where you will be able to integrate both these applications. And in this automation, our trigger is going to be new contact in HubSpot and our action will be to add new row for that contact detail in Google Sheet. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how you can add all the HubSpot contacts that you ever create over here in your Google Sheet. Like you can see, I have prepared a spreadsheet with the name HubSpot contacts and I have given the column names as first name, last name, email address, phone number and job title of the person. Now let's say that in your CRM, you are collecting all the details of the people working in your company. And then from this CRM application, all the data will be automatically collected in your Google Sheet so that all the details of the people working in your company will be collected in one specific place, which is Google Sheet. Easy to find and easy to access also. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on Access Now. That will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will be able to see a big blue button on your right side where it is written Create Workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I am going to name it as Add HubSpot Contacts to Google Sheet. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see Trigger and Action, the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which the complete automation runs over here. Now before you start the workflow, make sure you open up the two important applications or the number of applications which are supposed to be integrated for this automation. Like we are going to connect HubSpot and Google Sheets. So I have opened both these applications so that I can connect them with Pabli Connect and also make the required changes over here. Now Trigger says when this happens and Action says do this which means that trigger is the first application where the event will take place and that specific event will trigger this workflow. And when this automation starts running, the action application in the end will perform the assigned action. Like our trigger application is going to be HubSpot because the HubSpot CRM will have the contact created over here. So the trigger event is new contact added. Okay, so in this application, we will add a new contact over here. Here I will go to contacts and see the list of all the contacts I already have. From this button create contact, I will create a new contact detail which will bring the data over here and then which when that happens, the action application which is Google Sheets will add that specific detail of the contact in a new row over here. Alright, so let us begin. The action event is add new row. Alright, so we have done the basic settings over here. Let us begin with the workflow. So when you have chosen the trigger event as new contact added, you have to connect HubSpot and Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new contact is added over here, then the details are brought to Pabli Connect so that when Pabli Connect will be connected to Google Sheet, then the details will be transferred from this step to the next step. Click on connect, add new connection and connect with HubSpot CRM. Here you have to choose the account you're working upon. I will do that and click on choose account and just agree and here the connection is successful. See now the connection is done and what do you want the output property of the newly added contact. Okay, so like you can see over here when you create a contact you will have the email, first name, last name, job title and phone number. So HubSpot actually provides you this opportunity or this flexibility that you can select over here whatever you want for that contact. Like you want the name so you can type over here first name. Then what else you want? You also want the last name. So again last name. Then what else is there? Job title. So just choose job title. Then you had email. So make sure you choose only email wherever it is. Here this one. And what else is left? Contact number. So number over here. Phone number. So we have these five details and this is what we want, right? First name, last name, email, phone number and job title. So we have given these output properties. Click on save and send test request. And here, see, the newly added contact is right in front of you. This is the most recent contact which is added. Okay, now what we will do is we are not going to use this one. We will recapture the response over here and then we will create a contact. So let us create a contact right now only. These are my details over here. What is the job title? Let's say this and the phone number. 
ओके अप्लाई एंड हियर इट इज डन द कॉन्टैक्ट इज क्रिएटेड यू विल सी इट विल बी एडेड टू द लिस्ट इन यू गो बैक टू योर कॉन्टैक्ट एंड हियर इट इज द नेम ई मेल एड्रेस फोन नंबर एंड द कॉन्टैक्ट ओनर इज ऑल्सो गिवन ओवर हियर एंड वी हैव द जॉब टाइटल ऑल्सो सो वी हैव एडेड द न्यू कॉन्टैक्ट लेट इज क्लिक ऑन सेवन सेंट टेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट अगेन एंड यू विल सी दैट दैट कॉन्टैक्ट दैट वी जस्ट नाउ एडेड विल बी ब्रॉट ओवर हियर एज अ रिस्पॉन्स सी द कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर लास्ट नेम डेजिग्नेशन फर्स्ट नेम एंड ई मेल एड्रेस इज हियर which means that whenever a new contact will be added it will be brought over here as a response and all the details that you have asked for the output properties will be brought over here for sure and other than that you will have the basic details like created at and ids and everything okay so now let us close this window and we will just simply transfer these details to google sheets so now let us proceed with our action application click on connect for the same purpose that we want to transfer these details to your google sheets add new connection since google sheets is a google application sign in with your account select your account and click on allow and here the connection is successful now that you have connected google sheets and pabli connect you have to select your spreadsheet and your sheet so what is the name of my spreadsheet it is hubspot contacts so i will select that name from this drop down menu it's right here and the sheet will be selected automatically because we just have one sheet over here so there is no confusion but if you have multiple sheets created in one spreadsheet then you can select it from this drop down again now let us map the values that we have received in the trigger response from hubspot contacts now why are we doing this mapping because if i enter the name over here manually then this name is not going to change ever then what is the purpose of the automation that is why we are going to create a pathway between this trigger response and the action fields over here like when i click on the empty field it will ask me to insert data from the previous step now which is my previous step it is the hubspot crm so you just open the drop down menu and straight away map the value from here so this first name next time if a new contact is created and whatever is the first name of that contact will be mapped to this first name field of our action application similarly we will map the last name which is this what is the email address so you can take help from search and map data and type a little bit of hint over here like i type at the rate and it will straight away take me to the value so you don't have to search from the long list of responses now the phone number so again i will i will map it from here only and the job title so what was it it was designer so i will write over here and this is it so i have mapped all the values so simply click on save and send test request and all of this data will be transferred to your google sheets now we have received a response over here which says that one row is updated and five columns are updated which means our work has been done let us close this module and go to our sheets and check and here we are first name last name email phone number and the job title is also here so this way you can see that whenever a new contact is created over here it will be automatically updated in your google sheet so you don't have to create two different data at two different places over here so new contact added here and that will be also updated in your spreadsheet this was the whole workflow i hope this helped Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli dot com. You can ask your queries at forum dot pabli dot com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.